To a developing story now tonight, a major crash involving two semis on the Trans-Canada Highway near St. Francis. Drivers are being asked to avoid the area or expect delays. CTV's Rajiv Deer is live on the scene tonight. Rajiv, what happened? Uh, Merrily, it's quite a sight here, obviously. Two semis involved. Now, emergency crews got a call at around 1 p.m. saying a semi was driving eastbound on the Trans Canada. It hit something on the road. It was leaking diesel fuel. It pulled over to the side of the road. A fire truck arrived. But uh, after cleaning it up, that's when another semi, a cattle hauler to be exact, had driven into the fire truck, hit an officer and a firefighter, jackknifed and then hit the semi that was parked on the side of the road. Now the driver of the cattle hauler was ejected, rolled underneath the truck. Star's Air Ambulance had to be called in. He was flown over to HSC in critical condition. That's where he is right now. Now RCMP officials tell us that all precautions were taken. Cones, pylons were laid out on the road. Uh, lights were flashing on emergency vehicles, but it's up to drivers in these situations, they say, to make sure they're aware of their surroundings so they don't hit anyone on the side of the road. This occurs all year right through North America. We have emergency vehicles being hit. We have traffic cones out. We try to do things safely. We still have people that are driving and they drive into emergency vehicles all the time, but they also drive into general public's vehicles all the time because it only takes a second if you're not fully on watching what you're doing and you can drive into a vehicle and then we end up with what we have today. CMP officials also tell us that the uh, officer received a minor injury to his head. He was cleared. The firefighter, though, was also taken to HSC to be looked over. He is fine as well. Now, tow truck has taken the fire truck away, but if you take a look behind me, if you can see, once the truck moves out of the way, you can see both uh, semis are still there. Tow truck crews are still working to get, the, uh, to get both vehicles off the road. Yes, yeah, still quite the mess out on the highway there tonight, Rajiv. Do we know or have any idea how long that stretch of highway may be closed? Uh, it'll still take a couple of hours now. RCMP are telling uh, people to stay away from this part of the road as much as they can. Eastbound lanes have been diverted. There's only one lane going uh, in the westbound lanes. If you're coming eastbound, you'll be diverted into the westbound lane for a little bit of stretch of the road. Uh, still a couple of hours before Wally investigate the cause of the crash. All right, best for motorists to avoid the area. We will keep an eye on the developments. You can watch our website, ctvwinnipeg.ca, for updates on that situation. Thanks, Rajiv.